seconds after being sworn in, nasty new sanctuary city mayor grabs Mick and tells Trump what she's going to do. Sanctuary city San Francisco has just sworn in their first black, female mayor, London Breed. She's a Democrat and a Trump hater of course. Speaking from the steps of City Hall, where former San Francisco Mayor and California Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom swore her in, Reid emphasized her commitment to making the increasingly expensive and unlivable city accessible to people from all socioeconomic backgrounds. I hear you, Reid said, addressing city residents living in public housing. I lived it. I will be your mayor too. Spoken like a true Marxist. Reid gave a fiery acceptance speech where she attacked President Trump over immigration. She blasted him for cracking down on illegal immigration and vowed to continue the city's sanctuary policies. This happened just seconds after she became mayor. She immediately launched an attack on President Trump stating that her city doesn't put children in cages, we put them in the classrooms. She failed to mention that it was Barack Obama who put children in cages, not Trump as she claimed. She's great at parroting leftist lies and propaganda it would seem. As a SFUST graduate, I'm committed to building more teacher housing, prioritizing neighborhood schools, and creating opportunities for paid internships and job training. We'll tell the president that in SF we don't put children in cages, we put them in classrooms. She tweeted. I wonder if she will address the fact that San Francisco has literally become one big outhouse with thousands of reports every week of people defecating in the streets there. It's so bad that a medical conference had to cancel a seminar there because it was just too unsanitary. Thousands of people showed up at Civic Center Plaza on Wednesday morning for the inauguration of London Breed as San Francisco's 45th mayor. They came to witness the ascension of the first African-American woman elected to lead the city. She's also a socialist, but that's the norm there these days. Breed claims she wants to beef up the police in San Francisco, but with major conditions. One of them is not cooperating with ICE. Big shocker there. I'm still waiting for Jeff Sessions to cut off funding to San Francisco. It's long overdue. She takes the helm of San Francisco at a crucial point in time when the city is grappling with a protracted homelessness crisis, trash-strewn streets, a severe housing shortage and a widening income gap that is threatening to price out all but the wealthiest residents. All of that is caused by progressive policies already in place and none of which she will change. It will just be more of the same and will get worse. As Breed called for a bigger police force, one coupled with investments in social programs that reduce crime by improving communities through education and workforce development, she also addressed the subject of immigration. She said, We don't put children in cages, we put them in the classroom, a line that provoked the loudest applause of the morning. Right, but they can't take care of those already on their streets. What's wrong with this picture? Reid returned frequently to her campaign theme of being everyone's mayor during her protracted speech, citing residents of public housing projects, immigrant families, small business owners and the city's struggling middle class, and repeating, I will fight for you and I will be your mayor, too. Sure she will and she'll wantonly break the law over immigration while she does so. People were actually comparing Breed to Martin Luther King Jr. Give me a break already. Between the uber wealth of the city by the bay that those such as Barack Obama enjoy when visiting and the poverty and want of normal people living in San Francisco, there is a total disconnect among the classes there. Breed will become an elitist if she isn't already one, and her idea of emptying homeless camps will be to chase off the homeless so someone else can deal with them rather than addressing the real problem. It's the same way with illegal immigration. She wants to bring all of them in and give them freebies while taking away from Americans trying to exist on San Francisco's streets. It's insanity. Before the swearing-in, the Reverend Amos C. Brown of Third Baptist Church, standing arm-in-arm -arm with Rabbi Beth Singer of Congregation Emmanuel, delivered a stirring invocation, contrasting breed with President Trump, the 45th president to breed the 45th mayor and saying Trump would be watching from the NATO summit he's attending overseas. I trust from the bottom of my heart that number 45 will be viewing the ceremony from Brussels, and he'll be able to see how we should act and love each other and not take our children away from their parents," Brown said, 
referencing the recent practice of immigrant family separation. We are showing and telling that we have elected the right number 45, Brown said, his booming, gravelly voice echoing throughout the plaza. Those so-called men of the cloth should be deeply ashamed of themselves and if they truly believe in God, then they will have consequences in the end for their actions here. Reed is a strong advocate of the city's sanctuary policies. She has also threatened President Trump, Jeff Sessions and ICE before. She's said on her campaign website and to reporters in the past that she wouldn't mind going to jail to protect him.